what's good you guys so today i'm gonna be ranking you guys as builds uh you guys as in the people in my discord you know i did an announcement and told everybody to put their best builds in uh the bills channel so uh yeah this whole video is pretty much gonna be on that and yeah this video is honestly like more my old style of videos when i first started posting on lock like there's gonna be no editing like no prompt i'm going off of like i'm just turning on the record button and just ranking y'all's builds live uh so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to be in one of these events next time, like a tournament or another one of these builds videos, if this one goes good, uh, be sure to look into the description and uh, join the Discord below. And we'll be doing more events like this and trials every week like usual. And one last disclaimer before we start the video. Uh, you guys don't take these rankings too seriously. Um, you know, I'm really just having fun with this video. And honestly, I'm just, you know, seeing what my Discord could cook up. So, yeah, don't take these rankings too seriously. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys want a builds video, like an actual builds video, best builds you can get for each position, let me know. But uh, yeah, this intro has gotten pretty long, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first build we got is actually a goalkeeper build, and uh, this is from Xylus, our team's goalkeeper. He's rocking 6-3, claw, copycat, and hitbox flow. Now, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Um, I don't even know what claw does. Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Now, let me go do my research real quick. Okay, so so I did my research and it seems like claws like snatch, but like not snatch, you know, like a like a mini version of snatch and it can stack with it. So hey, I'm gonna go ahead and give this build like a nine out of ten, you feel me? Um, you know, it's pretty good for GKs as it looks like. And uh yeah, I mean nothing much I can say. I'm not a goalkeeper. There's barely any goalkeeper weapons or trait in the game. So yeah, nine out of ten. Okay, so next build we got is uh SMH Rocket. Alright, he got Planet Puppeteer. 510 9.9 .9 speed okay so it seems like this guy got kind of like a support build it seems uh he got the planet and puppeteer with 510 and uh, i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna have to rate this build a six and uh the reason i'm gonna rate it a six is because you know 510 is a decent height but it's not tall enough to get passes out planet is kind of buns like now all the recency bias is gone like people see the weapon for what it is planet hotline is kind of buns like i'm gonna say this now um puppets here i mean it's all right but nobody really uses it anymore because you know it's just not fun and uh 9.9 .9 speed is not above 10 so therefore it's trash but yeah like instead of puppets here put like no look or ambidextrous on there and you know what i'm saying maybe it'll get above a six but for now that's what i'm gonna keep this at okay so we have strix uh one of our defenders on b team and he said his build is five two long legs and pred eye okay next build uh, we got long strides emp direct shot formless five three uh 15 speed and then his defense build is serpent surf 15% hitbox and 6-3, all right? PBJ got himself some good builds right here. So for the first build, I'm going to have to give that like a 9 or a 10 out of 10, like whatever you guys want to do. But I'm going to give it a 9 personally, you know, long strides down with the long strides users. But yeah, honestly, pretty good build, you know, pretty basic too. Uh, for that defense build though, that one's a little different. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I'm going to actually give this one like an 8, 8 out of 10, I'd say, 8.5 because serpent surf I, I haven't heard of that one i can't lie uh actually no i'm gonna put it at seven bro because surf is kind of crazy because serpent is a center back weapon and surf is kind of for wing backs and whatnot and like i don't know I, I don't know how you're gonna use surf optimally as a center back but uh hey at least you got the hitbox flow the height and the weapon right but hey remove that surf you know what i'm saying 10 out of 10 build Okay, and now we got uh, the GOAT pump, you know what I'm saying, our only loan on main team. He said, 5-8 monster golden zone. Yeah, guys, I mean, this one is it's just a 10 out of 10, you know, perfect build you can get. Now, nah, let me stop playing, but this build, bro, like, for those of you guys who actually came here wanting to, you know, see what builds they could possibly rock, do not rock this build. I repeat, do not rock this build, because 5-8. Mon not not even 5-8. Five 5-8 eight. Five is actually pretty decent, but Monster and Golden Zone are the absolute worst weapons and traits of, like, of all time, bro. Like, there's no weapon worse than Monster, and there's no trait worse than Golden Zone. Like, that's that. Well, except for, like, the other traits, like Dwarf and whatnot, but 
this is like the absolute <laughs> worst build you could possibly get like if y'all are rocking monster or golden zone in general take it off please except for monster like you can low-key cook with monster but uh anyways all right for our next build we got zen's build okay he's rocking 6-3 planet tank 15 percent power i'm gonna keep it a buck man uh this <laughs> this build is a good three this build is a good three like i don't know what you're about to do with 6-3 planet tank 15 percent power at midfield i'm guessing like this is just horrible um yeah on to the next man this, this is a three <laughs> okay so next build all right this is a uh, clax our youth member okay he's rocking five three slash seven three emperor long stride slash predator eye and 13 percent speed flow hey i'm gonna have to give this man a 10 out of 10 bro seven four is absolutely crazy i mean you, you can just shoot imps from anywhere you know you could be half field top bends it you know 10 out of 10 build man okay next build we got is from uh reskill I, I think it's called uh and this is a six foot copycat long shots 15 percent speed now he says he plays a midfielder slash winger now if we're talking like winger stats um i'm have to give this build a four or not not a four like a five um but if we're talking midfielder i, I think i I think this build either gets like a seven or or a six point five. I don't know, man. The the long stride six foot kind of throws me off. I mean, they those two just don't really go together. There's a lot a lot of trades you could use other than long strides when you're rocking tall. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a, a good six point five. All right, and we got Jerry, our defender. He said six three Chigiri Golden Zone. Ah, <sighs> yeah, buddy. If you're rocking this build. Go ahead and lock off because what the heck. Chigri, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, weapon. 6-3. Six, 6-3 three. Six, three Chigri, they go well for your defender. If you're an attacker, you're cooked. Golden Zone is the absolute worst trait of all time. Reroll. Okay, uh, next two we got are the 5-3, uh, you know, Speed Demons, 5-3 Long Strides. Uh, I'm going to give 5-3 Long Strides a 9 out of 10 every single time. Uh, so, yeah, nothing too much to say about that one. Okay, next build we got is from Maddox, one of our youth team members. Uh, his build is Direct Shot Bunny's Speed Buff 5-7. Okay, now I'm not really too sure what to give this build. You know, um, Direct Shot Bunny's 5-7, 5-7 Bunny's, I, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to give this build like a 6.5. I mean, the Direct Shot 5-7 goes good together, but the Bunny's just kind of throws off the entire build. Like, you're pretty much going to be jumping over the ball. Uh, with 5.7 so yeah I'm gonna have to give it like a 6 bro yeah if you change that bunnies though with something like ambidextrous no look one of those then uh, the build will for sure go up to like an 8 or a 9 uh, but yeah on to our next build okay we got quack here's his build nice uh, but yeah I'm not even gonna rate this build you know what I'm saying y'all y'all rate quacks build <laughs> um but yeah and then we got another 5.3 um Emp form weak. Okay, this one's a little different. Okay, uh, Vincent, he he's rocking weak. Okay, with the formless and weak, I'm gonna have to give that a, a six, bro, because formless with weak is kind of useless. But uh, five three Emp weak, that's a little different. But I'm gonna like give this build overall like a seven and a half. Uh, now his next build is six three acro claw fifty percent hitbox for goalkeepers. Now I'm gonna give this build a zero, not a negative ten out of ten. And it's not because the build is bad, but it's because acro users, like acro goalkeepers, I absolutely hate them. Like acro goalkeepers, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so overpowered. All they need to do is spam R to block your ball or like walk up in front of you and press R. Like acro GKs are so annoying. But um, like being for real about it, this is like a 9 or a 10 out of 10 build for GKs. I mean, only if you know how to use it, obviously, but yeah. Okay, next build, we got 6-3 Clamps Vora. So this build, hmm, I, I don't know. Star Starlight, Um, this build, I, I don't know what to say because Clamps, I don't really see that too often. I can't lie. Voracious, I see that a lot. But there's just better combinations you can do. Uh, so I'm going to give that like a, a 7, you know, a, a good 7 because it's not bad at all. But um, there there's much better, you know, traits that can pair with Voracious, like Surf and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Okay, next we got is from uh, show 6-3, Riptide Golden Zone Power Flow Corner Kick Demon Build. Okay, so I'm guessing he's putting that Golden Zone in the corner for the corner kick. And uh, yeah, he, he, he he's banging those every time. So yeah, this one gets a 10 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Very creative, very cold. Um, <laughs> on to the next. 
Okay, so we got 6-9 zombie dribble, luck piece, 20% speed flow from Red, our server manager. Now, I don't know what version of lock this guy's playing, but I think this guy's like, you know, about five years in the future, because ain't no way. 6-9 zombie dribble, luck piece. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, man. This is another cold build, y'all. You know, I, I haven't played, uh, you know, that far in the future, but, you know, 10 out of 10, you know, 10 out of 10. Okay, next build we got is from Lab, aka Lif. You know, he earned that uh, nickname Lab for a reason, but um, if you know, you know. 5'9", Pred Eye, King slash Cooney, you know. Um, I'm gonna have to give this build like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just, just get that height to 510 and over and then maybe you got yourself a, a solidified nine but for now we're gonna keep it like an 8.5 because king and pride eyes is absolutely goaded uh same with cooney if you know how to use it but you know king pride eyes better okay so we got uh our next build from kai's he's rocking five eight riptide ambidextrous so this build if i'm ranking it normally i'm gonna have to give it like an 8.57 now i'm gonna give it a 7.5 but if we're talking about my personal bias against Riptide Ambidextrous users, it's gonna get a negative ten because what the heck? Now let me tell y'all a little bit, like let me tell y'all a little something about Riptide Ambidextrous users. You know, uh, these these people are past bots. You know, when you play Elevens, when you get into like a league or anything like that, you will see one of these players on the field at all times. They can't dribble, they can't shoot, they can't even move five yards up the field. They are straight past bots. Now, I'm not saying this guy's a pass bot. He's probably not. Uh, but I'm just saying in general, like, I just don't like people use this build because what are you doing being a pass bot, man? Do something else. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, um, our next build, okay, six foot king, pred eye, 50% power, you know, 10 out of 10. He got the bricks build with the extra power. You already know. Okay, and then we got it from Prince, 5'3", Bunny's Godspeed. Reroll. Okay, now we got Booming Tail Whacker, okay? our uh, our vice captain he's rocking 7 11 king athlete 15 percent all right uh ignore that you guys um next next bill we got is from ren um he's rocking 5 3 ripper voracious speed flow okay what are you gonna <laughs> what are you gonna be doing with this build my guy ripper voracious Bro, can you even rock Ripper and Vra Okay, you know, you can't. Ripper is a trait, but yeah, I, I don't know, bro. This 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 might have to get a, a, a 2 out of 10, my guy. I, I don't know what to say. Ripper Voracious is crazy. Okay, and we got the next build for Monkey Man. He's rocking Long Legs Tank, 13% hitbox, 6-3. I don't have enough bands to reroll my flow buff. Uh, striker build, 6-3. I'm a Dreadhead Leader Bunnies. Yeah, buddy. Uh, retire. Okay, we we got we got an actual good one, you guys. You know, it is it's been a little bit, but uh, we got six three copycat bunnies now, and for in the fourteen percent hitbox. Now this build is kind of basic, uh, but you know this game is a meta mancing game. Like you're gonna have to use a meta build at some point, depending on what position you play. And uh, yeah, this build just gets a ten. You know, the best defender build you could possibly get at the current moment. And uh, he got the pure black flow, too. So, you know, that gets an 11 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Now, on to our next build. He got the GK setup. 5-3 <laughs> for fast GK positioning. Watchtower as the weapon because they can't shoot cause if they can't see. Okay. Now, now this is kind of real, though. When Watchtower first came out, I catch you guys now. You could not see, bro. It, 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 was, it was the most OP weapon in the game just because of that. Like, you looked up you just seen a blinding light you just saw the sun in front of your face anytime you try to shoot the ball so hey you know what i'm saying john cooked with this one okay and then um oh shoot okay okay he, he got his train and everything i thought he was about to do two builds okay he got ripper because this gk got hands yes sir um and then 15 percent stamina standing around makes my legs hurt all right you know i'm gonna have to give this build like a 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying uh you know yeah nothing much to say about it you know uh tired so I can charge my stand faster to get back on D. 12% cooldown flow. I couldn't get 50% and form needs off cooldown. Yeah, bro. I'm not going to lie. If y'all are rocking formless on defense, I, I don't know what to say. You, you might be beyond saving because what the heck, man. Uh, yeah, this build gets a 1. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to give this build a 4 low key. You know, I, re I respect the effort. I've seen formless people on defense. And even though it's like a absolute worst of a formless slot on the scrim field, I mean, it... it I mean, it, it works sometimes, so uh, yeah, I'll give it a four. 
Okay, so we got Mustang's build. Okay, 6-3 trait. Oh, God. Okay, weapon. All right, bro. It, it, he got the unreleased package, y'all. I'm not even going to rate this build. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he got he got it all unreleased. This guy, Mustang's, you know, he, he just knows something we don't. So, uh, yeah, just, just don't play anybody with this build. You know, they definitely got some skills. Uh, so, yeah, next we got his X fatter noob. He's rocking six foot copycat. No look 13.8 percent speed. And I'm going to give this a calm little eight, you know, uh, not too good. Not too bad. Really good for a uh, midfielder. And uh, yeah, as long as you know how to use other weapons, you know, it should work fine. So, yeah, calm little eight. And then. Uh, oh, wow. OK, y'all, we're we're not <laughs> we're not going to rank this build either because, uh, yeah, ain't, ain't no way, bro. Okay, now we got bruh, you know what I'm saying? Main team defender, uh, 6-3, copycat bunnies, cooldown flow. Yo, this, oh, hex, no. Nah, nah, <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to give this build a, a calm little 8, 9 out of 10, but I seen that cooldown flow. So, uh, yeah, it's going to have to go down to a 6.5, bruh. I don't know. This build is kind of crazy. Um, nah, but seriously, if he had a better uh, flow, then it will definitely be like a 9 or a 10. Okay, next build we got is from Winter. He's rocking 5'9", Athlete, Formless, Direct Shot. So, yeah, this build is honestly pretty solid. Um, now, the Athlete Formless, you know, you guys might not know about it, but Athlete Formless is actually really cold. Like, it makes your Formless extremely fast. And uh, just 5'9", builds, or not 5'9", builds, just like 5'0", builds in general with Direct Shot are honestly really good if you know how to move off ball. So, uh, yeah, like, honestly, I'm going to give both these builds, like, a... Uh, I'm going to give it like a 8.5, 9 out of 10, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, uh, the video's gone a bit long. There was a lot of other builds that I wanted to uh, get down to. But, you know, I don't want to make the video too long. You know what I'm saying? People got a little crazy. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want something like this again in the future. Like something with, you know, my Discord community. Because everybody's pretty active in there. You know, it gets crazy in there sometimes. And, uh, you know uh yeah just let me know if you guys want in on that we could do tournaments you know we could do builds again just let me know but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video once again peace